Thank you, Ms. Sewell. Um, I, I just wanted to highlight again, these are programs that support seniors, loans for beginning farmers, YWCA's, museums, they all are financed by issuing private activity bonds and the low income housing tax credit is a proven policy and we should be building on it, not letting it rot because pretending we're leaving it intact when in reality, if we eliminate private activity bonds, we're weakening the way the credits work and that will impact housing across our country. So re let's remember tax reform, tax reform's about choices and right here we do have a choice to make. Are we focused on making sure we have a lavish 15% tax cut for corporations um, and forcing more people to sleep on the street? Or are we gonna let proven programs continue? Um, my constituents, people across the country, we have people struggling to find a place to live, to afford housing. This is our opportunity to actually put this right again and we should actually be improving low income housing tax credit. Again, that has been a bipartisan program. So um, I encourage people to support the amendment.